Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. Let's see one more question on UiPath Remote Runtime. Let me read the question for you. What is the effect of using a UiPath UI Automation Activity Package version that does not match the deployed driver version of UiPath Remote Runtime? Okay, now in case you are not getting an understanding of the question itself, no worries, I am going to explain everything from the scratch. So let's get started. Now, here I am in the advanced UI automation with Studio and I am in this section remote runtime dependency. Now, I will read through this paragraph and also I would explain you in the Studio. The sentence says the UI path remote runtime has a dependency on the version of UiPath Automation Activities Package. Very, very important sentence. What it says, the UiPath Runtime.msi file has a dependency on the version. So it depends on which one, UiPath.Automation.Activities Package. What does that mean? If you open UiPath Studio, your UiPath Studio, look at the projects tab and check what is the version of UiPath dot UI automation dot activities? So the UiPath remote runtime depends on the version of this particular activity package. Okay, important point. Now, not on the version of UiPath Studio. It doesn't depend on the UiPath Studio robot version. It depends on package, the version of the package. Okay. Now, what does that mean? I'll show you. What you do, go to your orchestrator. Now, here you would find a question mark, the help section, click on it. And then click on downloads. Once you do this, you will come to something called resource center. Where would you come? You will come to resource center. Now, here there is something called remote runtime installer here i could see there are three different versions at the moment version 23 22.4 22.10 what it says compatible for example if i down try to download this version this is compatible with following versions of uipath automation activities or package activities so if i download this then it is compatible with 23.4.8 or 22.10.8 or only this one. Okay, you cannot go with 22.10.7 or 5 or anything, any other number. It has to be exactly the same. For example, if you go with this, this is compatible with 22.4.8. Now, if you go with this, this is compatible with 22.10.5. Okay, now check which version you are using on the studio or the alternative ways based on the availability of the runtime you check which version to go for at the end the version of uipath automation activity and the version that you have downloaded should match now what is the meaning for example in my studio if i am going with 22.4.8 so this is my automation activity package then out of this three runtime which one should I select? So which one I'm using? 22.4.8. So check where it is 22.4.8. Then I should select this and download. So it is downloading the second one. So I should go with remote runtime installer, the second one. Now my question to you. Let's say I'll go to manage packages, official, and I'm typing, typing UI automation ui path dot ui automation okay exactly you need to type this way now let's say if i'm telling you on my studio i will be using 23 4.9 let's say i'm selecting 23 4.9 and update now which version of ui path runtime shall i use so what is the version number? Check it again, 23, 4.9. Now check it here, 23, 4.8 is there. Now here, anyways, 23 is not there. Here, 23 is not there. So that means I cannot go with anyone. 
remote runtime installer any of this won't be compatible with 23.4.9 so what is the nearest thing if i have to go with 23.4 i should always select the 8 so what i will do instead of 9 i must go with 23.4.8 update so this 23.4.8 is compatible with this particular enterprise version of remote runtime if you click on it it will download getting it now for example if i uh, put another question i am using let's say i'm using 2020 what is 2021 20 20 and 20 has been deprecated so let's say i'm using uh, 2022 22 10.7 now if i'm using 22 10.7 which version of uapath runtime enterprise right which one should i select out of this three so i should select if it is 22.10.7, 22.10, right? 10.5 is there, right? 10.5 is there. So what should I do? That, is, that means none of this is compatible. I should always downgrade it to 22.10.5. So how do I downgrade after update? No, I should go for 22.10.5. Okay, this one I should update. Getting it? Now the question, so this one you have understood how to pick, which one to pick now the important thing you have to do in this step i will show you for example if you want to this one i have explained you if you want to build an automation project using ui automation activities package version 2210.4 you also need to copy the corresponding ui path dependency from the client machine where studio is installed on the settings of vmware server or remote desktop application so what this is talking about for example i will explain this sentence for example here I am going with 2210.5. So as per the documentation in the orchestrator, if you are going with 22, remember the number 2210.5. That means you must install this particular version of, you must download the UiPath remote runtime 2210.5. Okay. Now I'll select this. It's it is getting downloaded. Now the next thing what it is talking you must copy this 2210.5 automation package from your given location and the location is given here what is the location look at this let me read it now why you have to do this interactive selection on the target application does not build correct selectors unless the activities package matches the ui path remote runtime dependency on the remote machine that means whatever active whichever package you are using on your as a developer if you are using 10.5 for example if i update if i am using 2210.5 the same package version needs to be copied to the remote desktop and here is the location been given to add remote runtime dependency follow the instruction below what they are saying on the client machine that means on the developer's machine where the UAPA studio is installed, navigate to this particular location. So all you do, so this concepts are very important. Let's say I'm typing user profile percentage, okay. And then one of the file is dot you get, one of the file is packages. And inside that one of them is UI path. If you see some versions are already there. Now let's say on my studio, I will install 22 10.5. What I'm installing? So here all 22, 4, 23 uh, is there, 23 is there. So let's say I'm installing 22 10.5 update. So I'm downgrading, oh sorry, uh, 22 4.8 is there. So I'm upgrading to 10.5, let's say. And I'm going to click on save. Now what is happening? The moment you are making any changes to this particular activity package, UI automation activity package, what happen in this location that folder gets created okay so give it few seconds it is downloading the packages downloading packages and dependencies two out of six done three out of six done wait for few seconds okay you can see it is installing on the new package after some time you can see it has become 2210.5 so now my uipath automation activity is 
that means if i go back to that particular folder what happens you can see 22 10 dot this 5 right 5 version has been downloaded now if you look at your orchestrator go back to your orchestrator so if you see this number would match so you are using 22 10.5 so you have to download this uipath remote runtime 22 10.52 if you come here 22 10.52 do you see so what they are saying you must copy this okay you must show more options so i must copy this okay copy the file and you have to put it inside your remote desktop you have to copy paste and there's a given location okay so for example they are saying on the client machine where studio is installed that is your developer machine you must go to this folder copy the version which corresponds to your path your automation activities package you want to use so you can see here because multiple times have upgraded downgraded and all those things have done so you have to only copy the required version upon which you are building your automation so here i'll be building using 2210.5 the same thing i should copy i should not copy all the folders important okay i should only copy this and paste it in the rdp understood now let's move on on the citrix application server vmware server or the remote desktop machine navigate to program files uipath remote runtime packages uipath folder and paste the previously copied uipath dependency version here so that uipath automation package folder right this folder now this one you have to put it in your remote desktop you need to go to this particular location remote runtime packages uipath and within that folder you have to paste this dependency like it is here right it's the same thing you go in the remote machine this, the path is slightly different there you paste that's all they are saying okay now this is very important you saw you know at least bit of practical what 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 is the file where is that file and how to copy that okay now important point here look at this interactive selection on the target application does not build correct selectors will not build correct selector from the rdp unless the activity package matches the uipath runtime dependency on the remote machine okay so that means the developer whichever package he is using the same package must be there in the remote runtime otherwise it won't work that is the meaning okay now let's answer this question what is the effect of using uipath ui automation activities package version that does not match the deployed driver version of uipath runtime if it does not match what is the effect what would happen it is asking you option number one the mismatched package version would be automatically updated no it doesn't happen automatically option two the automation process will continue to execute but only OCR image recognition activity will function correctly this is incorrect the automation process will automatically be downgraded to use supported you are no downgrade automatically will not happen selectors are not generated and an exception is thrown. yes this is right if you see interactive selection of on the target application does not build correct selectors it does not create the correct selectors the answer is selectors are not generated and an exception is thrown as the package is incompatible with uipath runtime on the server so the developer is using a different package version and the installed one is different that is the whole problem okay so the right answer is 57 i am going to prepare few questions around this let's see how many of you can answer it correctly from the topic that we have learned. 